students how are you i hope that all of you are well and good today i am going to discuss with you a few important questions from the voice of the rain students this poem already been being explained by me in the previous videos and question and answers are also being discussed with uh, with you uh, about this poem so now i will discuss only the question and answers which are important in view of the exams and it also cause better understanding about the text so student let's start first question is why does the poet get surprised when he gets an answer from the brain answer the poet gets surprised when he gets an answer from the rain as it is inanimate and cannot speak in this poem to the poets and readers amazement the rain gives an a reply which has been translated by the poet for the readers next question what answer does the rain uh, give back to the poet answer the rain answer to the poet's question by telling him that it is the poem of the earth and is involved in a continuing process of going up and coming down next question how does the rain justify its claim i am the poem of earth answer the rain calls itself the poem of the earth because the poem rendered by the poet has the task of bringing joy happiness life to its readers similarly when the rain falls down over earth a rhythm or music is created that is why the rain calls itself the poem of earth to so next question question number 4 describe the never ending cycle of rain answer water rises unperceived in the form of vapor from land and water bodies on the earth it goes up takes the form of a cloud changes its shape and falls down on earth in the form of water drops to bathe the small dust particles land and sea the water returns through rivers to oceans and seas after it rains on the earth question number 5 why does the rain call itself im impalpable answer impalpable means something that cannot be felt by touching or seeing when water takes the form of vapor it is not visible to the human eyes and and uh, nor can we feel its touch the vapor rises to the sky condenses and forms clouds which cause rain though we are aware of its presence the process remains invisible to us hence the rain has rightly called itself impalpable next question what happens when it rains after in a long hot spell answer after a long hot spell everything is dried up on earth when it rains all the dust that has accumulated on earth gets washed away giving a new fresh look to nature moreover the seeds which were lying latent till now get germinated with the help of rain and new trees and plants start growing next question latent seeds get a life by rain explain answer the seeds lying on earth require water to germinate and take shape when it rains the seeds start germinating and change into the form of saplings in this way the seeds which would have dried up or get wasted get a new lease of life by rain why is it why is rain essential for earth answer if it does send rain then earth will will remain parched droughts will will follow and the dust layers will not be washed away there will be nothing to quench the thirst of the plants and the trees and their seeds will die next question how does the rain becomes the voice of earth answer in the poem the voice of the rain 
the poet describes how the rain falls on earth he also asks a question to the rain about it he calls the showers of the rain as poem of earth as the rain gives a new lease of life to the scorched and parched earth and falls on earth in a rhythmic manner actually it is the voice of the earth as the slowly falling shower uh, showers produce a very soft music and earth finds its expression only through the showers falling on it next question why do you think the poet says the uh, phrase read or unread answer the words have have been poetically drafted read and unread stand for reckoner reckoned or unreckoned heard or unheard the words literally mean cared and uncared for respectively the poet says these words to him faces emphasize the fact that when it falls on the earth we sometimes take notice of it or sometimes completely ignore it but even if it is uh, let uncared for it completes its de destiny and return to the absorbed where it started from next question justify the title the voice of the rain answer the whole poem is about the eternal process of rain and its benefit through the words of the rain the the poet has tried to bring out the importance of rain for earth for plants and for man as the poet as the poet is translating when the rain is speaking through its own language the sounds it makes when it falls the whole poem is about the rain talking to the poet thus the title is justified next question the poem has a conversational tone throughout who are the two participants is there any advantage of this method answer the two participants are the poet and the voice of the rain which answers the poet's questions the advantage of this method is to maintain continuity of thoughts and ideas expressed by the poet and to bring about clarity in what he wants to express next question the poem the voice of the rain gives a hidden message that rain is essential for this earth write an answer article in 120 to 150 words describing the importance of rain important of rain by you can write your own name as we all all know the three essential for survival are water food and air the most important element of weather is water we get water in different forms of precipitation but rain is the most beneficial of all types of precipitation rain helps in harvesting our crops that give us food to eat without rain no crop uh, crops would would give grow and we would perish also falling showers remove the dust in air making our air clean because we need clean air to breathe next question rain water plays a key role in creating the climate of certain areas its presence in the atmosphere provides replenishment of the moisture in cloud systems the most well known and most important effect of rain water is to provide us with water to drink without rain there would be no life next question question number 2 rain is an eternal process benefiting mankind contrast it within with human life which is short lived on this earth should we disturb these eternal elements of nature answer the poem the voice of the rain beautifully shows the continued process of rain which sounds like music to human ears as it fulfills our needs it is an ever going process which sustains human life and provides us with food 
प्योर एयर एंड ग्रीन कवर ऑन द अदर हैंड ह्यूमन लाइफ आर मॉर्टल वी कम कम ऑन दिस अर्थ फॉर अ शॉर्ट पीरियड एंड देन डिपार्ट विदाउट लिविंग एनी मार्क ऑन दिस प्लेनेट मोर ओवर ह्यूमन बींग्स फॉर दियर ग्रीड एंड सेल्फिश मोटिव इंडल्ज इन डिस्ट्रक्टिव एक्टिविटीज विच मे डिस्टर्ब दीज इटर्नल प्रोसेसिस ऑफ नेचर we must learn a lesson from nature if we want peaceful coexistence we need not disturb the balance of nature otherwise the whole of humanity will be in danger we must learn a lesson from such eternal processes and do something good for the humanity at large next question natural elements such as air and rain make no discrimination and bless everyone equally comment on class distinction and inequality which is totally human creation answer man's existence on this earth is short lived but even in this short span he has been responsible for many wrong doing against other other human beings god has created everyone as equal but it is very unfortunate that man has divide, divided this society on the basis of class caste and other factors man must learn from the elements of nature which provides us fresh air heat or water without making any distinction but in human society class distinctions and caste dis- distinction religious differences fundamentalism you know and uh, uh, there are many other terms you can give okay uh, both exist and inequalities prevail in large numbers it is high time that man must learn lesson from nature and adopt universal brotherhood for the betterment of the of our society so student with this i conclude this video thank you very much for listening and